Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Curtis Ashford is returning home. Curtis makes a decision to listen to his Aunt Stella in the General Hospital recap for August 28, 2023. Highlights from the General Hospital recap. In this episode, Portia sobbed as Curtis made a life-altering decision. Jocelyn attempted to counsel Trina on her family issues. Carly tried to get Diane to do something completely unethical. Gregory and Finn confessed their male agony to Alexis and Elizabeth, respectively. Finally, Lucy had a quarrel with Marty, while Anna tried to gain information from Robert. Let us now delve a little deeper into the details. Stella has finished at General Hospital. The mission. Sad bag Portia told Marshall that she had heard Curtis was going to be released from treatment the next day, but she had heard it from the rehab director, not Curtis. Marshall attempted to explain Curtis' behavior as motivated by love and a wish to avoid feeling pity. Stella paid Curtis a visit in recovery and was disappointed to learn that he wanted to return home so soon. She only wanted him to confront his pain and emotions. Stella advised him that God had given him a task and that he needed to rise to the occasion. Curtis simply said that God's timing was all off. Stella begged Curtis to let Portia in because she adored him. She only wanted Curtis to stop rejecting his loved ones. Stella's remarks must have had an effect because, while Portia commiserated with Trina, Curtis called to notify his wife that he was on his way home. Balia, Jocelyn took a break from her employment at Kelly's to talk with Trina. Trina was still upset about the state of things between Portia and Curtis, so Jocelyn sought to help. Trina chastised herself for treating Portia so poorly after discovering the truth about her paternity and for being angry at Curtis for kissing Jordan. For some reason, she thought Portia's outrage about Curtis kissing Jordan had something to do with Trina, and that if she hadn't been so upset, they might have rejoined sooner. Joss assured her that wasn't the case, and correctly stated that Portia and Curtis were adults who were accountable for their own acts. Carly discovered she enjoyed working in a diner and told Diane all about it. She couldn't believe how friendly and approachable her customers were. Carly took advantage of Diane's visit to ask for assistance in getting Drew out of Pentonville, but Diane was skeptical. Carly wanted to judge shop since insider dealing got her in too much problems. Diane told her that wouldn't work, but Carly didn't seem to mind. She couldn't believe it when Diane recommended Drew just complete his statement. Carly was having none of it and recommended she check if Robert might assist them get a new judge. Carly was more enthusiastic than ever as Robert entered the room. Elizabeth discovered Finn on the roof, trying to comprehend the knowledge Gregory had given him the night before. He realized Gregory had told Liz what was going on, so he opened up about his feelings. Liz attempted to console him and encouraged him to make the most of the time he had with his father. Christina dropped by Alexis's workplace to explain why she ignored her at the Metro Court pool. She felt she needed to keep out of Molly's surrogacy procedure, given how Molly feels about her sister lately. Gregory interrupted Alexis' statement that she liked the surrogate. So Christina left so Gregory and Alexis could chat about Finn and Gregory's ALS. When Lucy saw Marty at the MC pool, she hurled a drink in his face in rage. She demanded to know why Marty was keeping his $50,000 bonuses hidden from her. Marty denied everything, but Lucy knew he was lying. Finally, he had to admit that, indeed, an ex-wife was keeping him in the lap of luxury. Lucy now understood why Marty refused to marry her, but Marty assumed Lucy didn't want to get married. Lucy informed Marty he should never have imagined he didn't want to marry, but he wanted to know how she found out about his alimony. Lucy admitted to the Pine Valley Jackson Montgomery saga and ordered Marty to inform his third wife that he was no longer paying alimony. Anna and Robert met by the pool to discuss all things Pikeman. Anna requested Robert to utilize his connections to find out if Valentin was still on Pikeman's payroll. Anna didn't believe Valentin was the one who burned down her house, but she knew he was lying about a lot of things. 
Robert was curious as to why Anna couldn't approach Valentine directly. Just then, Valentine arrived, so Robert left, and Anna did her best not to reveal that she couldn't trust her boyfriend. When Valentine saw Marty, he grabbed him aside and urged him to get it done, whatever it was. Tracy Quartermain is a woman of many surprises. General Hospital spoilers for August 29, 2023 show courtroom drama, prison stories, gambling issues, and much more. You won't want to miss a single second of this thrilling new episode. Highlights from General Hospital. Lucy is surprised to find that her Pine Valley acquaintance Jackson Montgomery is representing whoever is suing the Deception Girls in court. They are in for a surprise when they discover who his client is, and it may have something to do with what Marty has been keeping from Lucy. Meanwhile, according to GH teasers, Tracy causes quite a ruckus. We know she obtained the knowledge on the Deceptor and is working with someone who is attempting to bring deception down. Will she end herself in court with Jackson as her trusted lawyer? Drew has been released from solitary confinement and must decide whether to join Cyrus Renault's jail family. Carly warns him to stay away from Cyrus, but Drew is intrigued. Cyrus, it appears, is as well, as he questions Drew and attempts to elicit information from him. Drew, what do you know that Cyrus doesn't? Is Drew hiding anything that could be the reason Cyrus is so taken with him, Bladies, Bonnie Burrows, is at a loss for money now that she is unable to obtain Sasha's deception stock. She rushes to Nina, feeling she has no choice, and tells her a sob story about her gambling issue. She requires Nina's assistance, and is willing to tell her even more about Sasha in order to obtain it. Sunny has a meeting with Brick as Nina talks with Bladies. The two men put their heads together to figure out what the Pikeman group is all about. According to General Hospital Previews, Lucy Co. will struggle to wrap her head around the intellectual property case she is now facing. Lucy will lose her cool with Martin Gray and demand the truth since she will be stressed. There will be no more dancing around what Lucy knows about Martin's payments from Pine Valley. Lucy will reveal her awareness of the payments and press Martin to reveal the purpose for them. Lucy will put pressure on Martin to declare that these are alimony payments from a wealthy ex-wife and explain the concealment. Lucy will eventually toss a pina colada in Martin's face because she is so fed up with everything. To make matters worse, Martin will pretend to be too preoccupied with Valentine Cassadine's drama to assist Lucy in court or advise her ahead of the preliminary hearing. Lucy will be wounded and confused about where things are with Martin as a result of this. Lucy will have major reservations about this connection, but Martin will do everything he can to fix it and calm her down. In actuality, Martin appears to be avoiding the Deceptor lawsuit because he hasn't been forthcoming about his inspiration and where he fits into the problem. Lucy, on the other hand, will eventually shift her focus to preparing for the preliminary hearing. According to GH Rumors, Lucy will hire an attorney named Elise, who will go all out for her in court. Unfortunately, Jackson Montgomery will fight hard for his own client as well, and there will appear to be a mountain of evidence proving that Lucy's ideas for the Deceptor were stolen. Lucy will be terrified of losing the business that the Deceptor helped construct as frightening truths emerge in court. The identity of Jackson's customer will also be exposed at some point, thus it looks Tracy Quartermain will reveal her role in all of this. According to General Hospital spoilers, Judge Kerr will make a major judgment on the next part of the legal saga, so stay tuned for updates on any bad news that may be on the way. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.